my lovely people and welcome back to another video. Is the angle for this video a bit weird? Yes. Am I sweating because it's hotter than the sun in the UK at the moment? Yes. <laughs> so apologies for all of that but we are back for another video. The UK is in a proper proper heat wave right now and it's the worst thing. I've had to turn my fan off to film this video because it makes so much noise and I am already feeling the effects. But nevertheless, hello, welcome to my channel. My name's Beth. If you are new here, I make content on all sorts of things, really. Um, there's Disney videos, there's musical theater videos, there's some very exciting pet content coming up very, very soon. Um, I am a guinea pig owner and maybe a little something else coming very very soon keep an eye out um and yet yeah, today so i am a chunky lady i am a i'm funky yet chunky as the great latrice royale would say and i wanted to make a video on my recent experience doing a boudoir photo shoot now this is something that i've wanted to do for a very 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 long time mainly for confidence reasons. Um, I've always been not overly confident in my own skin. I feel like a lot of people can relate, but for some reason, a boudoir shoot is something that I've always really wanted to do. Doesn't make sense for someone who, in one hand, really isn't a fan of her own body and a boudoir shoot. They don't, they don't quite mesh together very well, but, I saw a competition on Facebook, um, probably last August, so mid Panini, um, mid um, Panda Express, um, as, as people are calling the, uh, the recent, you know, I don't want to say the word because I've noticed that a lot of people aren't saying the word on YouTube and I feel like there's a reason for that so I'm also not going to say it just in case, just to cover my own back. But I saw a competition on Facebook for a fairly local photo shoot place. They do all sorts. Um, I don't know if I'm okay to say the name of the place. Um, so I won't, just in case, and I'll, I'll hide any, um, you know, logos and things. So I applied. I entered the competition on Facebook. It was to win a free boudoir shoot and you would get to take home um, a print of your choice. Um, you get full hair and makeup, everything. Basically all you have to do is supply your outfits and go and turn up. And that would be it. There was a choice to buy some things pre uh, at the end of it. I don't know if this little sneak peek proves that I did exactly that because it was very hard not to. So I entered and I was sat on my bed one day, just, you know, chilling as you do when you're stuck at home and there's nothing to do. A little bit of sort of brief context as well. Obviously not too comfortable in my own skin. Also, very recent diagnosis of PCOS. Of so people who don't know what PCOS is, it's polycystic ovary syndrome, I think, um, which means that I can do a video on it if people are interested um, in how I got my diagnosis and things like that. Um, but it basically means that it's very hard to lose weight, which is something that I have been trying to do for quite a while. And apparently it's, it's harder for people with PCOS to do that. Um, so I, I was, I was in quite a negative space about my body. So I entered this competition thinking, God, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to, you know, you never know. I never win anything anyway. Spoiler alert. I won. Um, I was sat on my bed one day and I got this phone call from an unknown number and I never normally answer unknown number phone calls because I have anxiety and picking up a phone to someone I don't know is one of the scariest things to me. Um, but for some reason I did and it was this woman at the end of the phone and she said to me, she was like, you know, you, you entered this competition, you know, is this you blah, blah, blah. Yes. She's like, you've won the photo shoot. Um, 
you're one of the people that we've chosen you know to win you know we really liked your story because I said in my entry because one of the questions was why do you want to do this and obviously I put you know I've just had this recent diagnosis that's made me understand a lot more about my body and I would like to try and become more body confident and they said that they really liked that so invited me along so obviously mid panini mid mid panda express whatever people are calling it on youtube now um so they said right well you know the stipulations of the competition are you have to pay a refundable deposit i say refundable it's non-refundable if you don't show if you don't turn up um but you do get it refunded at the end um or you can put it towards if you'd like to purchase anything at the end of your photo shoot um which a little bit naughty they didn't put it in the terms and conditions of the competition but you know it is what it is so it's weird the more i say this out loud <laughs> the more it sounds like this is me telling the story of how i got scammed but i didn't get scammed um and they said you know and the photo shoot has to be in the next four weeks obviously mid health crisis and the place was about an hour hour and a half away by car and i don't drive my partner doesn't drive so i reached out to my very very lovely friend hannah hannah i doubt you're watching this but if you are thank you so much because you were my lifesaver on this day hannah took us all the way to bristol um and brought us all the way back again so grateful for her um and we went and i did this photo shoot so i bought myself because i didn't really have anything because i'd put on weight from like previous you know clothing that you might wear in a boudoir shoot i'd grow i you know I'd, I'd gotten too chunky for it so i got myself a couple of new bits um and i went and i was so unbelievably nervous going in so unbelievably nervous but let me tell you when i walked through those doors they made me feel so at home obviously you know it, it's it's mid health crisis no one knows what's going on but this, this so this was last september so this was back in the time where you could go out and you know mask i think it was masks when you went into places but you could go in you could sit and you could eat and you could take your mask off and stuff um i'm just trying to remember because we went out for dinner afterwards um so you know i went in um you know all of the staff were wearing face masks um and they were like you know you don't have to wear one that's absolutely fine um you know did a temperature check and everything because back then that's all you needed to do to go anywhere was have your temperature checked and it was fine they offered me a glass of prosecco orange juice cup of tea water obviously me worried about just bloating out because i'm also lactose intolerant so tea and coffee off the table so i just had a glass of water and i waited to have my hair and makeup done and when i tell you the lady did such a good job i will pop a photo just up here um she was so unbelievably lovely she made me feel so comfortable and just so pampered and well taken care of that it just made the experience so much more relaxing you know she she spoke to me like while i was there you know while she's curling my hair and everything um you know she made me feel so at ease she was like so many like women come in and they're so nervous and then they come out like beaming and glowing and saying how much they enjoyed themselves um and i was sat there like yeah okay like i'm i'm not sure but you know okay i'll do it um so had my hair and makeup done and then went down into the studio now it was because this is just like a building on the high street but they had like a little basement studio um which again sounds so dodgy but 
there was like a little separate like um, changing room area which was so so nice and I met my photographer and he was so professional and so lovely but he also just made me feel so at ease. I am absolutely singing the praises of these people because they honestly just made the whole experience so welcoming and so positive that you know the first couple of photos were awkward as hell i'm not gonna lie they i felt so awkward because you know i've i've done musical theater i've done acting i've done all of this you know i've stood and had my photos taken so it's not something that i normally shy away from you know i love a good photo um but you know to begin with you know you feel a little bit awkward a little bit I don't know what to do with my hands um, but he was so lovely because we basically went into it and he was like right have you ever done a photo shoot before I was like no not a proper one he was like okay have you seen any photos on Pinterest or anything like that that you would like to recreate or are you happy just essentially for me to take the lead and go for it so I gave him complete creative reign and I let him work his magic and it was such a rewarding experience and I felt just so happy when I came out of it so then after I'd had all my photos taken um I had to wait for I'd maybe say like an hour hour and a half or so um which wasn't too bad because you know they kept checking up on me you know kept offering me drinks and things you know making sure I was okay um they know that I was like comfortable just while they were getting the photos done and you know doing like lighting editing and things like that and the wonderful thing is they like they don't do any like proper editing um unless you ask for it because they very much have a motto of everyone is beautiful which is completely true everyone is beautiful no matter how old you are who you are you know anything like that you know size doesn't matter because it doesn't um and so they don't do any airbrushing unless you ask for it etc 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 um which i thought was so lovely um so i went in and they make it really nice so you go into this room and there's like a sofa um with like a big screen and essentially like they dim the lights they like give you a drink and they put the pictures into like a slideshow um so you can essentially sit and look at all your pictures did feel very awkward at first because i was just sat on this sofa on this, <laughs> this really plush sofa in this really nice room with this woman at a computer who just like you know like turn the lights down like made it all nice while there's like pictures of like my boudoir ready body <laughs> just up on the screen and obviously doing the photo shoot felt amazing but then sat down I was like oh my god what if I have just done this experience and I hate these photos what if all I can think about is I'm too fat oh that bit looks a bit wobbly oh no there's cellulite oh no there's stretch marks but I don't think I felt any of that and I went in there because they send you a price list beforehand and say you know you get to walk away with a free print if you would like here are your options to buy something as well but there is no hard sell um if you want to take something home other than a print absolutely fine and they also offer finance so I went in there and I was like right I am going to get a USB with all of my photos on um you know if I like them and that'll be it except when I went on the coffee table in front of this nice plush sofa was an autumn deals sign where for like a hundred pound extra from just the plain USB price you could also get a large print I think that very much sums up what I went for so 
I I'll hide the name of the place but essentially at the end of my finance when I paid it off through the post I received and they were so nice as well because I live quite a way away and obviously then another lockdown hit so I couldn't actually go and pick up my photos um, and my canvas um, so they were very nice and they actually sent it out to me which was lovely um, and obviously I know this is like a lot of people might be saying like down in the comments like this is where they get you obviously you have all these nice photos taken and they show you all these really nice photos and they say would you like to buy any of them you know nine times out of ten you're gonna say yes but I feel like you kind of go in there knowing that anyway like when you apply for the competition yes they say that you get a free um print bearing in mind the print that you get is only is it five by eight it's not a4 but it's just it's like that's that next one smaller than a4 um you get one of those for free included um but i i think you know nine times out of ten if you're entering these competitions you know that you're gonna buy something else at the end of the day so so this is basically my little haul so went in obviously for just the usb which came packaged in a nice little metal tin with all of my photos on from the photo shoot um you know sort of all edited you know but you know just sort of lighting stuff um and that's basically it is is lighting you know they don't airbrush any away any of your lines unless you want them to and i didn't go for that because i wanted to be able to look back on it and say that was me as of on that day um which i am actually very glad that i did i also used my deposit um to upgrade my five by eight picture i don't know if I mean, I don't monetize my videos anyway, um, but I mean, hopefully YouTube allows this, but I got an A4 print instead. The, 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 the similarities are uncanny, except I look a lot better here because I've had my hair and makeup done professionally and not just whacked on my face five minutes in the bathroom. And I just thought this was quite nice. Like it's really nice quality and obviously yeah i absolutely love it and then you have a piece de resistance so because i got the package deal it was the usb and this the canvas now it arrived in a really nice big box and for ages we didn't realize but me and max my partner were looking at it upside down because by this point I couldn't remember how I'd had the photos taken. So this is how we opened it. I don't know, is she in shot? Oh, she is in shot. I'll try not to get the reflection on. And then we were looking at it and I was like, I don't remember him taking a photo of that angle. Picture actually goes this way, which we noticed when we turned around and you've got the hook on the back. And I'll be honest, this is such good quality. Obviously, you can see I haven't taken out the plastic wrapping yet, just because we are going to be moving very, very soon. So I don't want it to get damaged in the move. Um, hence why it's not gone up on the wall yet. Um, also, the place... <laughs> I had to have, like, this big discussion. And we were saying, we were like, well, where's it going to go? Because, like, in one way, it almost seems quite pretentious to have a picture of your half-naked self on your wall and i was like well you know for anyone who comes to visit i don't really want it <laughs> in like full view you know this is sort of this is something that's for me and my partner um my friends have seen it i don't mind i've popped a couple of pictures on my instagram which i will pop a link to just here but you know all in all you know this this is for us and this is for our eyes only basically um you know it's not something that you'll have just hung up in in your living room or your hallway um so this will be going up in the bedroom when we move we're going to look at a place later fingers 
crossed, it'll work out okay. Honestly, my like honest opinion, if anyone is thinking about doing a boudoir shoot and you don't have to identify as like female or anything like that as well, you can go no matter who you are. Um, I, I would say go for it. Like I said to my friend when I came back, I was just like, do you know what? I was like, if you get a chance to do one, if that's your kind of thing, go and do it because it's so, yes, I still have body issues now. Yes, I I would still like to lose weight, but that's for me. I would like to do that for my own health because weight loss will help with PCOS um, and just with my health in general. But it almost feels, I don't know if the right word is liberating, just to do something like that, just to really step out of your comfort zone and just go for it. I would highly, highly recommend it. If you have any questions um, or if you want to know the kind of stuff that I wore when I went, just let me know and I will do a video on it if, if you would like to see that. Um, yeah, any questions? let's make let's make the comment section a nice place of like body positivity um let me know would you do a boudoir photo shoot yourself like i said i would highly recommend it but you know each to your own as you know i would highly recommend it if it's not your thing it's not your thing i didn't think it was my thing. Obviously I wanted to do one just to kind of say that I'd done one. Um, I didn't think I would enjoy the experience as much as I did. When I've actually lost some weight, I would actually love to go back and have some more photos done um, by their wonderful team. And yeah, if you wanna see any more of the photos, I've popped a couple up on my Instagram and i will probably pop a couple more up as well at some point a little little trickle don't forget to leave a comment down in the little box below and let's just have a conversation about body positivity and because i think it's so important i think it's you know you have got one body you've got one life you've got one body worship it you know look after it and make the most of it because you know you you've got one and that's it so celebrate it worship it and give it a lot of love because it carries you around all day and that's pretty darn impressive thank you very much for watching and i will see you guys in another video in a couple of days, in a week maybe. I don't know when this is going up. I think it will probably go up on Saturday. Um, ho so hopefully it's Saturday when you're watching this. Um, so I will probably release a video sometime next week and I hope to see you there. Don't forget to hit subscribe to keep an eye and don't forget to ring the little bell to be notified when I do upload that other video. There are some very, very exciting things coming to my channel. I am really, really looking forward to this proper kickstart back into YouTube. I haven't been on for a little bit. I've been lurking, but I've been planning. There's been some real big life changes recently. Um, and obviously I've mentioned there's something coming very soon. We're moving. Um, there's a lot going on at the moment. And I'm really, really looking forward to it. And I'm really hoping that I can bring you guys along for the ride so thank you again for watching and i will see you guys next time bye